Today, I am very excited to be joined by a very dear friend and a colleague who is about as nerdy as I am when it comes to helping our clients understand their bodies, their brains, their hearts, and yes, even their souls, so that they can have more love in their life, more success, and more vitality. So I'm excited to introduce you to Dr. Mike Dow. He is a psychotherapist, author, and television personality. And informed by his own personal experiences, Dr. Mike believes that every relationship has a profound lesson to teach. Dr. Mike is the host and co-host of Ease Sex with Brody Season 1, Logos That Sex Show, and VH1 Couples Therapy. So I have a question for you. I want to know how the Fifty Shades phenomenon has impacted the people that you see. Yeah, you know, it's so interesting. Uh, I, I do think it's helped women. And, you know, what we know is that women have always been, um, you know, early sex researchers, researchers with women would use erotica sometimes to, to, to get a response. You know, men tend to be more visual and, you know, we're, we're, our brains are simple and a little, a little animalistic and we just need something to, you know, shiny penny and, and you get this uh, response. So for women, a lot of times in laboratories, they would play them erotica, erotic fiction. And, and so you're right, uh, you know, and I'm so glad you, you, you sort of have an element of that in, in your case studies, but you know, I think you're, you're also right. And what I do see in women, it's not that the women that I am treating all of a sudden want to, uh, you know, uh, go, uh, you know, get to a playroom with a, with a dungeon because I, I don't find that to be true. You know, the, the women who, who liked some, some um, uh, spanking uh, continue to like it. And, and you know, uh, and of course, I think some people who want to incorporate some light BDSM, which by the way is, is, uh, this is the statistics are, 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 you know, show that a lot of people do incorporate that into their play. But, you know, I don't, I don't think a lot of uh, women who read that for the first time are, are going to, uh, you know, go invest $50,000 in, in leather and whips and chains or anything like that. But what I do think that what it did for women is that it, it sent a cultural message around the world because of, because it was such a phenomenon. Um, that says it's okay for women to be sexual and they don't have to hide. 